Welcome everyone to Redneck Randy Reviews. I'm your host, Redneck Randy. And today, we're reviewing something pretty, pretty near and dear to my heart. And it swept the nation by storm faster than you can say Rona. That's right, we're talking Tiger King. After I go get me a beer, of course. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. All right. Shouts out the bitch Carol Baskins. Redneck Randy here, reviewing all latest things in pop culture, gadgets, guns, and everything under the sun. This week's review is over the Netflix documentary, Tiger King. On March 20th, Netflix launched the documentary series, Tiger King. Murder, mayhem, and madness. And I'll tell you what, it is full of all those things. And it introduced us to Joe Exotic and the crazy world of exotic big cats. Being from Oklahoma, this one hits at home for me because now everyone thinks we look like this. But let's not forget the hat that Joe's always wearing throughout the documentary. Yeah, that's right, Texas fans. You got yourself a Longhorn fan in Joe Exotic. <laughs> you can claim him. Also, most people in Oklahoma know, if it's south of I-40 and east of I-35, it's basically Arkansas. Hey, why don't you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom, because I guarantee you, you're going to like everything I have to say in this show. And also, I got to say, there's some spoilers in this review. So if you haven't seen Tiger King yet, don't get mad at me that you went ahead and watched this video before watching the documentary series, all right? Anyway, there's a whole slew of characters in this show, and it starts with Joe Exotic himself. Man, I tell you what, there's been some famous mullets from Oklahoma, such as Brian the Boz Bosworth, Toby Keith, a young Blake Shelton, and Mike Gundy. But I don't think We've ever had a mullet as famous as this one is. Joe Exotic is an interesting cat, man. I'll tell you what, and no pun intended with that one. Throughout this show, though, you got crazy characters from Joe Exotic, the bitch herself, Carol Baskins, who looks like a hippie Hillary Clinton, to the Kirkman fella, who looks like the bad guy from the second Jurassic Park, and Doc Antle, a chubby, long-haired Bill Paxton slash Metallica band member who's like the Elon Musk edition of the big cat world. And then you got Jeff Lowe, total scumbag with little man syndrome if I've ever seen it. There's so much shit in this show. There's gay, gun-toting, meth-addicted, mullet-rocking rednecks to murderous, psychotic, cult-like rescue leaders to big cat trainers who are missing limbs and teeth. Alleged murder for hire schemes. Heck, I mean, Joe Exotic's poor mom got dragged into this thing. And then, you got the feds. It's literally stuff that you can't make up. I couldn't have, I could have been on like a three-day bender out in the pasture somewhere, smoked a little peyote, and I could have not ever thought up all the stuff that's in this show. It's literally stuff that you can't make up. And then, they get you with the ultimate sympathy card. They show you those cute freaking baby tigers. Man, this is how we review movies slash docuseries slash anything on Netflix, streaming, whatever. This is how it goes. A one beer rating is basically a show or a movie that I wouldn't even recommend to my cousin's ex-wife, who when she left him, took all his mounted deers off the wall. And a five beer rating basically means I'd recommend it to my grandma. So how did the documentary do in our ranking system? Well, let's see. Number one, was there gratuitous sex and violence? Well, there was plenty of violence and a lot of foul language. But was there sex? They did talk about it quite a bit, so let's give it a beer. Was there any collusion, scamming, or a robbery. I think all these big cat people are scammers 
and they're just stealing people's money. So, yep, gave it a beer. Plus, Joe Exotic pretty much just took money from everyone he knew, and there's that Jeff Lowcat, so I'm just saying. And don't even get me into Carol Baskins. You know what, I'll say this. Carol, if you're watching this, we all know where Don's at. Any explosions? Yep, I can thank Joe for that one. Guns. <laughs> There's plenty of them in there. Spirit. Did the villain meet their turmoil in the end? Hmm. See, I had to really think on this one because who really is the villain in this series? Is it Joe? Is it the Carol Baskins? Is it Jeff Lowe? Or is it that fat Chucky doll guy who comes riding in on his jet ski there at the end? Either way, I don't give it a beer because I think they're all wacky. And the only one behind bars is old Joe Exotic, so no beer. So the final rating is four beers. Which I will say, it is a pretty darn enticing show. And I'd highly recommend it to most people. You'll get all caught up in it. The last thing I'll say is that I think there's plenty more to come from, from all this, but Netflix really knew what they were doing when they launched this one during everyone being home, the shelter in places and whatnot, so cheers to that. Thanks for sticking around, and if you're still here at the end, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, leave us a comment. Let us know what you want us to review. Heck, we review everything. I love to review guns. I love to review any of the new gadgets coming out, especially ones that can help people out. And I always love to review beer. So, and we'll catch you next time on Redneck Randy Reviews. Cheers.